Look at this, man. That is another great fish. Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. I'm out here on the Tennessee River this morning. And as you can maybe see here, it is extremely foggy out here. It has turned cold. It is May 10th when I'm filming this video and it's frigid out here. It's like 35 degrees. Very unseasonably cool for East Tennessee this time of year. So where I'm gonna be fishing at today is on a main channel ledge. I'm right now anchored down in 46 feet, right here on this ledge, right on the edge of it where it starts to come up. And over here beside me, there is a creek uh, channel right here and then straight down from me uh, a few hundred yards is another one so I'm kind of in an area here where any fish that are coming up and down this ledge they could be working up into these creeks possibly so I'm kind of down here on the edge of that ledge here in a little bit deeper water since we've had this this cooler temperatures uh, come through here uh, it's cold out here this morning. My body had acclimated to the warmer spring temperatures. But I'm gonna soak some baits out here and just see what happens. It's about 6.30 a.m. I'm gonna stay out here probably till 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock this morning. Give it a few hours and see if we can get on some fish. Now for bait today, I've got some skipjack. Grade A premium stuff. I've had a, some struggles catfishing here lately, but I've got some better bait today and hopefully that'll improve our calls. Those baits were given to me by Catfish Dave. He's another YouTuber here in East Tennessee, somebody that I've become good friends with here the last couple years. And uh, he's a good dude and hooked me up. So thank you, Catfish Dave. I'm gonna see if I can turn those skipjack into some big catfish today. All right, there's the first bait going down. My favorite, the skipjack head. I tell you what, y'all know, watch my videos regularly, I ain't much on cold weather. I hate it. And right now in May, we should be flip-flop weather right now. <laughs> Not three layers and a big jacket. So, I ain't super motivated to be out here this morning, but having a bunch of fresh skipjack can get me to the water. I am optimistic. We just might hook into a big fish today. The time of year is right. The bait is right. But I don't know how this weather's going to affect things. Let me get that scale off there. Got to watch these scales around your barbs and your hook points. That'll cost you a fish quicker than anything. There's another body section. A skipjack. We'll have four rods today. I'll be suspend fishing. I'm just going to have my baits down directly under the kayak, raised up off the bottom. So I'll have my baits at probably, uh, you know, 44 feet-ish down there. And, uh, these four rods, I'm gonna start out with one head piece and three body sections. That skipjack that I showed you a second ago, I basically cut it in four pieces. And so we're gonna have those four pieces on my rods here to start with. We'll get these other two body sections on here and we'll be ready to roll. And get all them scales off. All right that in the body section there we go last bait dropping it down and we are fishing let's see what we can pull out of here today y'all I got hit on this front rod you can see it's bent over right there oh yeah oh yeah that's on a skipjack body section first fish of the morning here folks and it has been a long time coming. Look at my clock here. It's 8.03 right now, so hour and a half sitting here waiting. Nothing going on. But I'm just putting in the time, man. I wasn't sure with this cold spell that come through. I wasn't sure how active these fish were going to be first thing this morning. I wasn't sure if they'd be moving up into these creeks, but I thought you put, you put yourself on a ledge like this, they may come along. They may stage out here toward the end of these creeks. I thought I'll give it a shot. We got, we're getting one fish here today anyway, if nothing else. <laughs> There'll be more than that though. If you're watching this video, I've caught more than one fish. Get this one up here though and take a look at him. 
It ain't a bad one to start today with, man. It's a, one of them old fun sizers. He's got my line. He's spun circles around it there. Yeah. Take back off now. Yeah, buddy, man. That's a not a bad way to start the morning. It's a long time coming, but worth the wait. All right, man. Let's hold him up here and get a look at him. I've got the sun behind me over here. His lighting's probably terrible, but not a bad fish to start the day with. <laughs> it's like I said, it's been a long time, but a place like this. When you own a main channel ledge, fish are going to move through here eventually, even if they're just moving you know, up and down river. So you put enough time into a spot like this, you're probably going to catch some fish at some point. Didn't know if it's going to happen out here on this, this morning. Didn't know how active they were going to be, but I'll put the time in, see where it goes. Let me stick him on the board here. We'll just get a quick length and then we'll let him go. I'd say he's going to go probably 34, 35 inches. Yep, he's just right there on that 34 inch line, so nice. All right, one final look. Let's send him home. See ya. He's out of here. All right, well, I'll put another skipjack body section on that rod. And we'll wait here till the next one comes along. There's the next bait. Drop it down. Raise it up just off the bottom. And it'll be sitting there, ready for that next big one to come along. Rod got bumped and you cut it go. There he is. There he is. Yeah, he's on there. He, he thumped it. And I just seen that rod tip. It's <laughs> just kind of slowly making its way over. It's been another hot minute since I've had a bite. I'm on my phone here while this fish does its thing. See, you know, 8.54 now, so. Been a little while since that last fish. Just a slow morning out here. Like I said earlier, you put time in to a spot like this, it's hard to screw up. Because <laughs> fish will eventually move through here. And that's true. Just about anywhere on the main channel edge. You put yourself on a on a break line on the main channel edge and you'll eventually get some fish moving through. I see that down there. We got him up the surface here now. Let's get him over here a little closer. We'll get a look at him. I don't believe this one here is gonna be quite as big as the other one, but he's still not a bad fish. Must have had hooks, buddy. When they go in, they don't want to come back out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's another one, not too bad. That's one of them old fun sizers. We'll put him on the board here in a second. I'd say he's probably, I don't know, somewhere between 32, 34 inches. They had a good time on the gear I use. They put up a good fight. Let's throw him on the board here and we'll let him go. Yeah, that one there is about 33 inches. Well, one final look at him. Hopefully the sun's positioned itself here. We can get a decent look without a bad, bad shadow on him. Fun time. Get on out of here. See you next time. There's just another piece of catfish candy on there. It's like a piece of chocolate to a human. They love it. All that head piece just got hit a second ago. Look at rod tip. Look at it. It's just slowly going down. That's what I want to see. Pick up on him. Let's pick up on him. He's went under the kayak. Another well, rod up here got hit, and I don't know if it's him in that line up there, or if we've just got another fish on that other one up there. I don't know. This one's kind of under the kayak. He may be in that line, possibly. It could just be another fish, too. We'll find out here in a second. I'm gonna deal with this one in my hand here first. Yeah, buddy, man. 
Just had to give it some time this morning. That's all. You know, the old me would have been long gone. I'd have given this spot 30 minutes, didn't catch nothing, been out of here. But the last year or so, I've been putting a lot more time into these spots. This one's down here in this other line. It must be another fish we got on this other run. Move these two rods around, keep them getting tangled up. There we go. Fix that problem. Like I was saying though, I've been in the last year or so giving spots a lot more time, letting fish come to me instead of me trying to go find the active fish. And it has paid off big. I've gotten a lot of good fish long after I would have normally left a spot. I'm gonna set this one back in the rod holder here for a second, y'all. We'll put him back a second. Now let's pick up on this front rod and see if it's a fish on there. I thought it might have been him in it, but it wasn't. Yeah, we got one on here. Double. One on the head piece, one on the body section. That's actually warm me up a little bit. I might be able to shed this heavy jacket here in a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little dink right there. Just a little one. I'll tell you what let's do. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. Well, that one over there, it's a little bigger. He'll tucker himself out while we deal with this one. All right, well that's actually fish number two of the double. That's the small one. We'll let him go. We'll land the bigger one. That one left us our headpiece on there. And folks, that head, I, mean, I don't know if you can see it's the light or not, but it's still real pink. It's bleeding there. It's still in good shape. And I'm gonna drop it right back down there here in just a minute. This fish here, if you look at all these bumps on him, I don't know what caused it. I don't know if you can see it there with that light, the way it's positioned, but all up and down his tail on the top of him, He's got little bumps, warts of some kind. I ain't never seen nothing like that before. That's odd. <laughs> He's, this one's another one here, kind of on that fun size cusp. We'll just throw him on the board here. A lot of you care about this crap, I don't. But I'll get a measurement for you and see here. Yeah, that one there, just shy of 30 inches. We'll call him a dink. Well, let's say goodbye to this old ugly thing and them old bumps and warts all over him there. I don't know what causes that. It don't seem to be affecting him none. He seems to be healthy otherwise. So one of them things, I guess. Getting these rods repositioned here. We'll send that headpiece back down. It's still really good shape and I'll put another body section on that other front rod up there. See if we can get some more fish. I'm getting more excited now here at the morning's going on. They seem to be getting a lot more active. It's a small body section there. That was one of the one of the few small skipjack me and catfish Dave got. Um, most of the ones we caught out there were pretty good size. Like I said, he gave me a bunch of his that he caught, so I'm in good shape on skipjack. That little one there, well, since we got some bigger pieces here on these, I thought we'll just try that smaller uh, skipjack air. Let's see what it does for us. That rod tip just stood straight up. Now let's watch it go down. There it goes. <laughs> oh man, that one's gonna pull now. Good golly. And the way it hit. Oh, he's going under the kayak. Man, he took off. Usually when a rod tip stands straight up like that, it's usually a small fish. Buddy, he was stripping drag there. Man. <laughs> man. man, he's gonna take off again. Yeah, this one's bigger than I thought he was. 
I like getting surprised in that direction. Usually it works the other way. I think they're bigger than they really are. And this one, clearly he's going to be bigger than I thought he was when he hit it. I can feel him rolling down there. It's definitely a blue. This is a good fish. That's a real good fish right here. That's going to be the best one in the morning. I ate a small body section of that skipjack. Let's add that bait down there to right depth, right structure, right time. People are always looking for that magic lure, that little thing you can do. But it's hard to beat time on the water on good structure. That'll make you more successful than anything. Mm, man, he just keeps taking drag, y'all. I'm excited about this fish. I really am. Cause I have no idea what to expect when we get him up here. He just, usually when a fish does that and your rod tip stands straight up, it's, it's usually a dink 99% of the time. But this one here ain't gonna fall into that category. He outgrew the dink stage. Now he has managed, with him going under my kayak like he has, <laughs> he has gotten every one of my lines. We're going to have a mess. But it's going to be worth it. I promise you that. I'm fine with him getting in my lines. Just don't get my ink rope. That's the, that's the thing that will screw you right there. They can work themselves free on that anchor rope. I should be getting close here now. I'm seeing some bubbles there coming up. We gotta be getting close. And that's important, y'all. I don't mention that enough in the videos, but when you're bringing fish up from deeper water, Need to let them decompress. Let them adjust. That way they'll swim off healthy when you let them go. Look at that monster right there. That is a beast of a blue cat. Beast of a blue cat right there. Look at the head on that thing, man. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, that's what I was hoping to get out here today. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Whoa. About through that camera out the kayak. Oh, man, that's a big fish, y'all. That thing spun around there like it needs to be. <laughs> this is what I hope to get out here today, man. You know, I just put time into this spot, y'all. I don't know what time it is now. It's... Let me grab, I just want to see what time it is. I'm going to hold this fish up here. I want to tell you something. Y'all, it's 9.53 right now. I got out here on water about 6.30 this morning now. The old me would have gave this spot 30 minutes. He's going to make a mess in this kayak. I'd have given this spot 30 minutes or so, didn't catch nothing, and been gone. But for the last year or so, like I said, you know, Catfish Dave had a huge influence on me being more patient riding out spots longer instead of trying to go to active fish let active fish come to me and man it paid off big time today i'm gonna set this camera down right here a second so we can hold this thing up because he is a tank oh yeah look at that <laughs> he still has some fight in him too buddy i can feel him you can just feel the energy in him Oh man, that's awesome. <laughs> Look at 
that sun over there. I need to I need to kayak to spin just a little bit. But uh, man, he tied up every one of my lines, but it's totally worth it. Totally worth it, man. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna put him here on the board. We'll get a length and we'll let him go. We'll make sure he gets even bigger. Y'all, you know, that fish right there, he'll go 43 inches. Look at the girth on that thing, man. My board's 10 inches wide and he exceeds that board, man. Awesome fish. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Y'all just don't know how happy I am to catch this fish. Oh man, he's ready to go. Let's send him home, okay? Grab the other camera here. See you, Mr. Blue Cat. Get on out of here. And he's gone, buddy. Y'all, that made my morning. That made it right there. I don't care if I catch another fish, that made the day. But I tell you this, I am going to try to catch another fish. <laughs> I got to untangle all these lines before we're going to do anything now. Well, y'all, that fish, I'm sitting here getting the tangles out of my lines, trying to, and I've had a fish hit one of these rods in the process. <laughs> if I didn't have a mess before, I got a mess now. <laughs> I'm pulling him in with this rod. I don't know if this is the rod he's hooked on or not. But this is the one I'm really in on. <laughs> I'm having a good time out here if nothing else, y'all. You just can't make this stuff up, man. Can't have these experiences at home on the couch. That's another pretty good fish right there, y'all. This one here, I'm telling you, I was just reeling my lines in. To try to get everything untangled and it took off on me <laughs> so i flipped this camera back on and i've got another great fish on here look at this man that is another great fish another one on the skipjack body section heck yeah man Back up here beside the kayak. And I'm gonna have to play this sucker out a little while. Cause he is another just thick, fat fish. Look at that mess of my lines. <laughs> That's a mess, buddy. <laughs> oh man, he's strong. Oh man. Well that right there about jerk your arm out of the socket, folks. Uh -huh. Y'all, this one right here is bigger than the other. This one right here is bigger than the last fish. Just doubles in. Before I could even get my lines undone, I got that line up here. And I said, it was such a tangled mess. I just, I snipped it, got my leader and sinker back here. And I was working on the next one. And this one took off. <laughs> what a day. What a day, man. Let me set this camera down because this is another whopper right here. Man. This is a big blue cat, buddy. This right here. This right here is probably my biggest of the year. One of my biggest ever, probably. Once I get him up here. Oh, yeah. This is definitely one of my biggest ever. <laughs> yes. Oh, what I wouldn't give for that sun to be behind the camera so I could get some good pictures, but man, I love it. Oh, oh, he's strong, man. This is a strong fish. Let me see if I can hold him up. <laughs> oh, it's great, man. Look at the girth on that thing. I tell you what, though, I got to give credit where credit's due. Catfish Dave, man, it changed the way I fished, and it's put me on spots like this longer, where I've had time to wait on active fish to come through, and I got this one, and him helping me out with bait, you know, I ain't been using a lot of skipjack lately, because I just ain't been on them, but he hollered at me, and I went out there, 
and we call some skipjack together and he give me a bunch and uh, I'm thankful to him <laughs> got some catfish Dave bait and a catfish Dave size fish <laughs> let me throw him on the board here we'll get a quick length and we're gonna send him home y'all that fish right there monster man almost 45 inches look at the girth Again, my board is 10 inches wide. His whole belly is hanging off my, my trough here, which adds another inch in each direction. So, man, that is an absolute tank. Woo! Yeah, y'all, this right here, man, ain't the longest fish I've ever caught, but girth-wise, he's one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest. Yeah, buddy. Oh, all right. <laughs> He's, he's ready to go. He's been ready to go. Whew, I don't know which side to put him out on. One like this, I can't lean over in the kayak too far. I'll be in that water with him. I'm just going to have to... I hate doing fish like this, but I'm going to have to just kind of let him go. Whew, he's out of here, man. Look at you. <laughs> when you go home stinking like catfish covered in slime, you have had a day and folks i have had a day i said after that last fish if i didn't catch another one great day but after catching two of them words don't describe <laughs> i tell you what i want to do though i want to get these dang lines untangled maybe get some more baits down there because they may be some more big fish moving through. We got another one on right here. Let's see what this one is. This one ain't gonna be as, them other two fish have set the bar so high today, y'all, that ain't nothing else gonna, ain't nothing else gonna live up to it. <laughs> this one here, one in my hand could probably be bait for them two big fish I got. I'm thankful for them all though. I I just like coming out here and getting a tug on the line, man. That's why I do this. It's just, this is fun. Whenever my YouTube days are over, I'll be doing the same thing I was doing before my YouTube day started, which is this right here. It's just what I love to do. There's another little dink. Well, not uh, not even close to them others, but that's okay. <laughs> My day is made, y'all. My day is made. Uh, I could sit out here and not get another bite. My day is my day is fine. I'll go home happy. All right, guys, y'all have asked for it forever, and here it is: the man, the legend, Catfish Dave. He gave me the bait the other day, went and fished with him. We got some skipjack and got out here and got two Whopper blues this morning, Catfish Dave size blues. So there he is. Y'all have wanted the collaboration video and this is about as good as you can get between a boat and a kayak. But I've sat out here and enjoyed his company, enjoyed the fishing today. But we have got to that point in the day where I'm over it. The wind's kicked up a little bit and all the idiots are out here beating us to death with their boat wake. So I'm going to leave him to it. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for